everyone. My name is Boxer. I'm Mr. Brant's dog. I just wanted to introduce what Mr. Brant's going to do today. We're going to talk about one of the art elements called texture. I hope you enjoy what my human teaches you. Have fun drawing and remember art is essential. Thanks Boxer. That's one of my puppies Boxer. Um, I have another one named Bailey, which you'll probably see later on this year. Um, but thanks for the great introduction. We are going to talk about the art element texture. Uh, and we're going to do kind of a fun, different kind of a drawing today. So, if you're ready, let's get started. What is texture? Texture is kind of how something feels. And in art, you can have real or actual texture, or you can have implied texture. Um, real texture is like if you're doing a clay sculpture or you're doing something 3D and it actually has real texture, meaning you can feel it. It feels bumpy or it feels smooth. Um, it feels furry, uh, whatever that texture is. Implied texture is what a lot of artists use in their drawings or paintings where you're actually trying to make it look like texture, but it's really not. Um, so like maybe you're drawing a puppy and you want to make it look really furry. It looks furry, but it doesn't really feel like fur. It's still a flat piece of paper. So it's implied, okay? You, you just see it and your mind knows that if you really, if that was real, you could feel it. So there's a lot of different types of textures. Rough, soft, hard, bumpy, prickly, um, just so many different things. Some real textures would be like the texture on a basketball, or how soft your carpet feels, or the furriness of a new puppy, um, the rocks, how they feel rough, and different things, a piece of plexiglass where it's really smooth. Um, there are so many real textures out there in the world, and especially in art, you can create a lot of real textures. Implied textures are more where we've made them up. Um, it's kind of given the illusion. And you can do that, as you see on the top, with just doing hatching lines or lines crossed over each other. You can do it with little hatching lines, stippling. There are so many ways to make something look like texture. And so today, we're going to get right to it and let's start creating some texture. So here we go. All right, I'm going to get my camera set here. And remember, I'm going to be looking over at the computer a little bit. That's why I look like I'm looking off to the side. Um, we're going to start with our paper today. And the first thing I want you to do is take your hand and with your pencil, and you will need a black pen or a black marker, something like that. But I'm going to turn it, just slant it, the, the paper a little bit. And then I'm going to draw as close as I can, as nice as I can, with my pencil. And so I'm going to create my handprint, but I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom. If you look, I stopped. I left some room down at the bottom there. What I want to do is, since it's Halloween, this will be kind of creepy and spooky, but we're going to draw a line underneath like this. And I'm going to make my hand look like it's coming out of something. So what I'm going to do is come to this side and I'm going to come back in and then go out and then come back in. And then I'm going to go over here and come in and back out and back in. So it's about even right there. Okay. Once I've done that on this point, I'm going to draw it down and I'm going to draw it down. And you can see now it looks like I'm kind of my hands coming out of a hole. Now, what I want you to do is you're going to come up with at least one, two, three, four, five, six different textures. I hope you can do more than that, but I want you to come up with at least six. And what I want you to do is say, okay, my first finger, what do I want it to make it feel like it's got a texture on? It? So I might take and just kind of divide it up here. Now, you can do this with a pencil. Maybe I want to make it look furry. So I'm going to make my finger look furry with little hatching lines, okay? But if I have a pen, I can use a black pen if I don't want to outline, and I can just do the textures right with my pen. I don't have to draw it with pencil first. 
I can go in and make it look furry by just crossing over and making little lines like that. Maybe I want to do this. Maybe I'll outline my finger here. And maybe I want it to look like rough bricks. So I might draw some stripes like so, just like this. You can come up with any texture. If you remember how to make bricks, what you can do is if I draw my first row of bricks or blocks, it's always from the middle of the bottom brick. So here's a brick. I'm going to go to the middle of it, and then that's where I draw my next line. And then I go to the next one. Here's a brick, middle of it, middle of it. This middle brick, I'm going to draw a line up. This one, I'm going to go up, middle and middle, and middle and middle and middle. And then maybe I'll add some little texture lines. Maybe I want to add some little stippling dots to give it some texture. I can do so many things with my pen, stippling and so on. Another way that we could do it, um, how about scales? So I could outline my finger. And one thing I'll show you at the end is outline with a thick. And then I'm just going to do little U shapes. And when I come to the next row, I always want to go to the bottom of the U shape. So touch the bottom, 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 all the way. Always go to the bottom of the U shape that's above. That will give that overlap look of scales or in a little bit, I'll show you some feathers. And you could do scales in your finger. A um, lot of other things. I want you to come up with a lot of details in what you could do. Another one, maybe I go down here and I want to do actual feathers. You could make these look really pretty if you colored them in. And I'm just going to do feathers beside each other, like so. Add another feather. Maybe add some feathers here. Okay, and then if, after I get across, I could go down here and say, now it's the same as we did it's with the scales. And I'm going to do a feather, and it comes to the point of the other feather point of the other feather and the point and the point and then I can go in and do this and if you could imagine this with all kinds of colors that would be really pretty. Another way you could do textures is kind of like little bubbles or little circles that will give you a fun texture to do. There are so many textures that you can come up with and I hope you come up with some really cool ones. Oh I know one. I could do some wood. So if I do some little knot holes and then just the grain of the wood or bark, kind of like a tree trunk, I can just do some squiggly lines in there. I can come up with a lot so it kind of looks like a wooden finger. I know another one. We could do some cracks like it's an old, like my thumb is just cracking and drying out. Sometimes I'll go in and put some little hatching lines make some cracks, maybe two or three cracks off of that, make it look really dried and cracked in there. That's another texture we could do. I also like to go down in here. I could go in and do some textures, like make it darker with my pen. I can go in here, and I, I'm just going fast. I want you to take your time and come up with one of the coolest things. Once you get your textures done, one of the things I like to do to make it stand out, if you have a thicker pen or a thicker marker, is just on the outside edge, and you might have to be a little bumpy lines for the furry one, that will add and really make it stand out if you want to do that. You don't have to, but that's just another little trick that makes your artwork stand out. Now I could do some really cool textures in the background, um, if I want to do, I just thought of another one, we could do little prickly, like a porcupine, doing little spikes. I could do that. If I did it on a finger, I could even have some spikes like a cactus, make that kind of texture. I want you just to let your imagination go and come up with the best um, textures that you can. And so now I want to show you just an example so here's an example that I did, and you can see I did the feathers, I did all those little circles, here's my furry one, my scaly one, bricks, wood, cracked, dry, 
Um, but that's just an idea of what you can do, just some ideas. But I know that all of you can um, think in your mind and come up with some even better textures to create on your hand and try to come up with a really cool textured hand. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope you have fun doing it. And remember, art is essential, and I'll see you soon. Bye.